looking at this was just amazing. This was just an amazing project. Like, I could not believe what we ended up with here. Um, just looking at the history of the picket as a whole, I'm proud to have been and to be a part of it. Uh, I mean, we have Prohibition, World War One, World War Two. There's just so much here. And seeing the names that you usually associate with just buildings and knowing they were people is is epic. It's amazing. The, the whole experience is just kind of surreal to know it goes back that far. When I was asked to put together this project, I honestly had no idea all that it would entail. And it's been a humbling experience. I started with the picket in the fall of 2016, and I had always heard, you know, the student voice since 1896. And I've seen it on the website, and I've seen it on the printed versions of the newspaper. And I never really realized what that meant until I sat down and looked at all of this. And that's when you really see like, wow, we really have been the student voice since 1896. Um, going to the meetings every week and hearing the editors, you know, talk about like what, what we're going to cover when there's breaking news and, and we cover it. That's one thing, but then to actually sit down and see all that's been covered in the past. I mean, everything from Prohibition to World War I, World War II, there's just so much that's been covered by our newspaper. And it's really amazing to sit and see all of this. Um, I'm going to be the editor-in-chief in the spring semester of 2017, and I feel like I have very big shoes to fill, um, not just from, you know, the two previous editors that came before me, but just from all that have came before me. I want to continue the legacy of being the student voice since 1896, and after seeing all of this, it makes me want to work that much harder. And I'm really just honored to be a part of all of it. Honestly, it's just been really amazing.
The picket really does represent uh, a very important part, not only of Shepard, but of uh, 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 student journalism, his history of student journalism. And you know, of course, that the picket represents the guardian of the community. The picket stands out, uh, it goes back to the uh, uh, Civil War, actually to the Revolutionary War days. The picket stands outside the town and guards the citizens of the town. And that's what the picket always has, start, has tried to be since 1896, protecting student rights. But for me, it's been really, uh, wow, a, a great challenge and a great honor to be part of the picket. And uh, when I got here, the picket was in very weak condition. It was coming out like about once a semester. They used to put it in the corner of a Canoody Hall so nobody would see it too much. And then it started coming out every three weeks. And uh, but when I became a faculty advisor, uh, I went to the uh, workshops at the uh, college reading advisors. And I really learned the basics of being a, 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 a college reading advisor Namely, that you've really got to protect the students' First Amendment rights. You've really got to allow the students to do their own thing, to make their own mistakes, to learn from those mistakes. And as an advisor, you have to uh, protect them, to uh, back them up, and also uh, to just you know give them that freedom of speech, which is that's what which is so so precious. And that's difficult because. It's, it's, it's not like herding cats, it's like getting cats to walk in formation because you know students all have their own ideas and go in their own directions. So um, if I would sum it up very briefly, I would say the picket continually reinvents itself. And every issue is a new kind of picket and every semester the picket becomes a different publication, a different organization, and the picket has gone through these transformations continuously since I've been here, and that's about probably one of the more exciting parts of it, is to see how it continually re, uh, 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 reimagines its own identity and the role it plays. I started working for the picket in 2014 as a staff writer. I was then quickly promoted to arts and styles editor in 2015 and then further promoted to editor in chief in spring 2016 where I remained until I graduated in May 2017. Um, when I first started out with the picket, there were about 10 of us working diligently to produce a print newspaper bi-weekly, which was an extremely tedious process. Um, we were paying our staff to spend hours working on print outlines and putting it together, which was sometimes an all-night process. Um, when breaking news stories um, arose, it oftentimes wouldn't make print and it would be too late and irrelevant by the next edition. Um, there was just so much that we were doing with such little to show for it. Um, when I became the editor, I wanted to um, find a way to be able to cover breaking news as it was happening without ever missing a beat. Um, and I found that by um, scrapping the print news and converting to a completely digital news source. Um, as a student-run publication, it was important for us to be able to reach our peers without making them look for us. Um, with our digital platform, we were able to incorporate a mobile app so students didn't have to go to one of our newspaper stands, they could just look at their phone. Um, with the capabilities of a digital platform, we were able to transform a multimedia um, savvy pub where students could go to watch our um, video series dig, like Digging Deep with Digs um, to learn about how nationwide issues were affecting students on um, like their own campus and how people were reacting to them. Um, with our multimedia capabilities, reporters were able to spend more time focusing on issues and getting the news to you um, in a timely process instead of focusing on the less important things like outlines and print. Um, during my time as editor, I really wanted the picket to live up to its slogan, which is um, the voice of Shepherd University, um, and I'm very proud to say that I think that we did that. In the future, I would like to see our website and our coverage get even better. Uh, we want to do more video stories uh, to enhance our print side. I want to do more pictures. I 
want to make it more relevant to the entire community of Shepherdstown as opposed to just campus. Uh, our staff grows every semester. We have more volunteers. We have more staffers. We have a good variety of stories. And I just want to see the picket grow and be better.